Hello. In the last lecture, we finished laying the groundwork for studying linear codes. We introduced the notions of cosets of a code and syndromes of vectors. We saw that every vector in a coset has the same syndrome, and that there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between syndromes and cosets. We saw a general purpose decoding algorithm called syndrome decoding which, although it works for all linear codes of any distance, is inefficient in practice because of the large storage requirement. We'll next move on to studying binary Golay codes. Chapter 4 will be a three-part lecture series on Golay codes before we move on to Chapter 5 on cyclic codes. In V4A, I'll present the binary Golay code C23 which is a three-error-correcting perfect code. We'll also see the extended code of C23, namely C24. C23 and C24 have been used in several practical applications. Next, in V4B, I'll present a decoding algorithm for C24. V4C will compare the reliability of C24 with some other codes. I'll first define the Golay code C23. This is a perfect code. And then we'll see the extended code C24. There are many elegant ways to define C23. It's a beautiful code with really nice mathematical properties. But I'll simply present the code to you by giving its generator matrix without further motivation. So let B hat be this 12 by 11 binary matrix. The first row consists of all ones. The second row has weight 6. The third row is a left cyclic shift of the second row. So you shift the second row one position to the left, and the leftmost one becomes the rightmost one of the third row. The remaining rows of B hat are left cyclic shifts of the previous row. So in effect, the matrix B hat is defined by the first row of all ones, the second row, and then the other 10 rows are left cyclic shifts of the second row. Now let G hat be this matrix with the 12 by 12 identity matrix on its left and the matrix B hat on its right. So G hat has 12 rows and 23 columns. Its rank is 12. So G hat is a generator matrix for a binary code of length 23 and dimension 12. This code is called the binary Golay code C23. I'll state as a fact that C23 has distance 7, and so it's a 3 error correcting code. I'll prove this later on in the lecture. Let me first verify that C23 is a perfect code. And that's just done by verifying that the sphere packing bound is met with equality. Now the error correcting capability of C23 is 3. And so we can check that the left hand side of the sphere packing bound, which is given by this expression, equals the right hand side. M, the number of code words, is 2 to the 12. And Q is 2, so Q minus 1 is 1. So the summation is a sum of these four binomial coefficients. And you can check that this expression is 2 to the 23, which is the right-hand side of the sphere packing bound. This establishes that C23 is a perfect code. <laughs> I'll next describe the extended Golay code C24. C24 is an extension of C23 in the following sense. A generator matrix for C24 is this matrix G in standard form. It's a 12 by 24 matrix. And its right half is this 12 by 12 matrix B, 
obtained from b hat by appending this column to its left. The column has a zero in its first position, followed by 11 ones. We see that the first row of b has weight 11, and the other 11 rows of b each has weight 7. And so the first row of g has weight 12, and the other rows of g have weight 8. Hence, all the rows of g have even weight. Here are some nice properties of C24. Noting that G has rank 12, we see that C24 is a binary code of length 24 and dimension 12. Now you can check that G times G transpose is zero by actually doing the matrix multiplication. And this means that every row of G is orthogonal to every column of G transpose. The columns of G transpose are just the rows of G. And so every row of G is orthogonal to every row of G. And this implies that the code C24 is contained in its dual. That's because the dual code consists of all vectors that are orthogonal to every code word. And since every row of G is orthogonal to every row of G, this means that every code word in C24 is orthogonal to every code word in C24. And this gives us this containment. C24 is an example of a self-orthogonal code. In general, a code is self-orthogonal if it's contained in its dual. Furthermore, since C24 and C24 perp both have dimension 12, these codes must be equal to each other. So C24 is an example of a self-dual code. More generally, a code is said to be self-dual if the code equals its dual. You can also check that the matrix B is symmetric. For example, the first row of B is 0 followed by 11 ones, and this is also the first column of B. Now we can derive a PCM for C24 from G, since G is in standard form. And this PCM is minus B transpose with a 12 by 12 identity matrix on its right. The minus sign is irrelevant because this is a binary code over GF2. And B transpose is B, as we just noted. So this is a PCM for C24 that you get by swapping the two halves of G. As we noted, C24 is a self-dual code. And so PCM for C24 is also a GM for C24. Because recall that a PCM for C24 is a GM for the dual code of C24, which equals C24. So we have the nice property that the matrix G and the matrix you get by swapping the two halves of G are both generator matrices and parity check matrices for the extended Golay code C24. As a side note, let me mention that binary Golay code C23 can be used to define the Leech lattice in 24 dimensional space. In 2022, Marina Vyazovska was awarded a Fields Medal, the highest honor in mathematics, for her proofs that the E8 lattice provides the densest packing of identical spheres in eight dimensions, and that the Leech lattice provides the densest packing of identical spheres in 24 dimensions. Prior to her work, optimal packings were only known for dimensions 1, 2, and 3. You can watch a brief video about Marina Vyazovska on YouTube. We'll now prove that C24 has distance 8 and then follows immediately that C23 has distance 7. This is because we obtain C24 by adding a single bit to every code word in C23. So if C24 has distance 8, that means that C23 must have distance 7 or 8. But C23 has at least one code word of weight 7, 
namely the second row of G hat, because the second row of B hat has weight 6. And so, since C23 has code words of weight 7, its distance can't be 8, and so C23 has distance 7. Let's now prove the claim that C24 has distance 8. I'll denote the rows of G by R1, R2, R3, up to R12. You'll first note that the first row of G has weight 12, and the other rows of G each has weight 8. This means that every row of G has weight divisible by 4. Now recall that G times G transpose equals 0, which means that any two rows of G are orthogonal to each other. Now the weight of the sum of two rows Ri and Rj is equal to the weight of Ri plus the weight of Rj minus twice the number of coordinate positions in which Ri and Rj are both 1. These coordinate positions are precisely the positions that make a contribution when you compute Ri times Rj. The only coordinate positions that matter are the ones where both Ri and Rj are 1. So, since Ri times Rj equals 0, the number of coordinate positions of Ri and Rj that are both 1 is even. This shows that the weight of the sum of any two rows of G must be a multiple of 4. Now, since code words in C24 are obtained by adding any number of rows of G, we see that every code word in C24 has weight divisible by 4. And so C24 has distance either 4 or 8. It can't have distance greater than 8 because it has at least one code word of weight 8, namely the second row of G. Next, we'll show that no code word has weight 4, and then it follows from the previous observation that C24 has distance exactly 8. So recall that the code words in C24 can be obtained by taking all possible linear combinations of rows of G. In other words, picking an arbitrary subset of rows of G and adding them together. We've noted that each row of G has weight at least 8. Suppose now that we add two rows of G. If we add the first row of G with any other row of G, the resulting code word has weight 8. You get weight 2 from the left half of the sum and weight 6 from the right half of the sum. Similarly, one can check that if you add any two rows among the second to the twelfth row, the resulting vector has weight 8. This is a little tedious, but not too bad, because you only have to check that the second row added to the third, fourth, up to the twelfth row has weight 8. This is 11 checks. And then you're done, because the third to the twelfth rows of the matrix B were obtained from cyclic shifts of the second row of B hat. So this last check is a bit of work, but it's not too much work. And I'll let you check that for yourself. Now, let's add any three rows of G together. I'll let these rows be Ri, Rj, and Rk. Let the resulting code with C be divided into two halves x and y. So x and y are bit strings of length 12. Suppose that the code with C has weight 4. Now x was obtained by adding three rows of the identity matrix, so its weight is 3. Hence y has weight 1. Now recall that this PCM for C24 is also a GM for C24. And so this code with C can be obtained as a linear combination of some of the rows of H. Since the right half of C has weight 1, C must be equal to a single row of H. But that's impossible, since every row of H has weight 8 or 12. So we conclude that the weight of C can't be 4. Similarly, let's add 4 rows of G together. 
We'll call the two halves of the resulting code word x and y. Suppose that the code word has weight 4. x must have weight 4, because x was obtained by adding four rows of the identity matrix. This means that y has weight 0. But that's impossible, because h doesn't have any such vector in its row space. And so the weight of c can't be equal to 4. Lastly, let's consider the case where we add five or more rows of g together. If c is such a code word, then its left half x is a sum of five or more rows of the identity matrix. And hence, the weight of x is at least five. Thus, c can't have weight equal to four. So we've proven that no non-zero code word in C24 can have weight equal to 4. So the weight of C24 must be 8. And hence C24 has distance 8. And that proves our theorem. In V4b, we'll study a decoding algorithm for C24, which is efficient to implement in both hardware and software. This decoding algorithm has been used in practical applications. Goodbye. <laughs>